Hello, so you are struggling replicating an RPC inside of a blueprint and you're wondering why. The client should call this RPC and it's not working. So today I'm going to show you a quick example of something that came across when I was trying to debug a problem in my game I'm working on, The Great Smog. So if I start from here, we're currently having a bit of a laggy client movement, but the uh, blueprint in question is this map over here. So when I click it, it will swap my viewpoint with this. Now the issue I was having was the client wasn't able to back out of the map. So I'm gonna step through the code, just showing you where it slips up, where the code doesn't run, the RPC doesn't run from the client perspective. So I press the back button, this is inside of the widget, and it's got a, a cache of the mission screen blueprint so now it's going to call the function return player which should return player back to their viewport you, uh, viewpoint here you can see it's calling the function it's forcing an update to make sure it's called a uh, net update to make sure it's called on the network and then it calls this s return player rpc which should be called on the server and i can see it doesn't even call it now why is this you might ask and this is because the client doesn't own this blueprint. And it, the only thing the client owns is the player controller and the pawn is controlling. So the best place to do um, remote procedural calls up, you see these is from either the player controller or the pawn class that they're currently possessing. So if you want to bypass this and be able to call RPCs on a blueprint from a client, then you need to use the set owner function so here i've already done it so i've already set it up that i just connect this node uh the set owner node so this is what's controlling whether you have whether the client has ownership over it so i plug in the client controller as the player controller as a new owner and this is obtained through when i interact with this blueprint it's sending this interface call which is implemented here this interface call is called from the player controller passing in a reference of the pawness uh, controlling and the controller, the reference to itself. And then this is set here. So I set the ownership here. Now this allows me to call RPCs on this from the client. So I'll show you again. I am also clearing set ownership, the ownership of this blueprint when I return the player. So I'm going to walk through it again from here, if I can click the map. So I click back and now we're going to walk through. So now we've set ownership and we're trying to return the player. And now you can see it is calling the RPC. Clears ownership. Now, if I go back to the game view, here, you can see I'm no longer in the map view. Let me just clear the RPCs, uh, the RPCs, the D the breakpoints here, and show you again without any interruptions. Okay, there you go. So that is an example of how to use ownership to call RPCs on a blueprint. So you probably had an issue where you weren't able to call an RPC and you're wondering why, because it should, without the knowledge of ownership. Now I hope that was hopeful. Have a good day.